Demonic Citadel by Skunk Bear. We are doing map two. I can't remember what I played this on. I think I did do it on Ultraviolence actually. Map two. Decrepit Sewers. This has 197 kills, 33 items, 4 secrets. Nice little window here. Hmm. Wait, there's there something in there, wasn't there? this open. I couldn't have. I must have just seen the top. Well, this should look pretty familiar. such luck. So it looks like I can actually go in that door. Okay, well, that's the yellow door. Let's see. That's a nothing door. Okay, well, decent sewer layout here. Um, nothing very fancy. Mildly annoying with the uh, weaponry. You just get a shotgun and not a ton of ammo. And the monsters. Cacodemons especially are just a little bit annoying because these sewers are wide. So it's easy to dodge the cacodemons that you can easily see. You know, the guys in these cages are another story. They're harder to see, so you do want to shoot them so they don't kick you off later. But I'm not even going to bother with the cacodemons. So we end up with just a hub here. We've got blue, red, and yellow somewhere or other and one of the doors is unlocked but it's not that one not too long ago actually yeah it's on my it's on my channel I think yeah I think it's on my channel a video a sewers map by Bonnie that I think has some good ideas in it. First of all, the sewer area is a lot tighter, so you have less room to maneuver. Secondly, the floor is actually damaging, and that makes the combat a lot more interesting all the way through, having to stay on one side or the other. 
as you dodge different projectiles. Oh. Well, that's not good. Um... <laughs> if that doesn't open... Then I don't know what. I don't have any keys. Well, this is a Jeezy Dune map. So I wonder if it's like... <laughs> I wonder if I have to kill all the Cack Demons. Or That would seem to be very strange. Oh, that door opened. Yes, okay. Alright, so, exit is yellow. Which means these other yellow doors are probably places I can come back. And not places I go in. Yeah, also just... Let's just... I mean, it is sewer. You don't expect a ton of detail. But basically one texture. Just brick texture with right angles is all we get here. There's a cat coming down there. Oh, dead cat. Fall down there, am I done for? I'm not much left. Yeah, I think this would go a lot farther if this was damaging. I know that would get kind of annoying, but I don't know, it just would make the map a lot more interesting. Uh, just use the 2 to 5% there. And now, you got a constant worry. Stairs, that door is locked. Grab the red key. There we go. One helmet, shotgun, and chain gun. With this much space. Not ideal. I might make these ledges a little shorter too, actually, if I were if I had done this. Um just, there's so much up and down in a situation like this that maybe you don't want these to be as tall as they are. This looks like it's 16, maybe. Um, so maybe that would be better as like just 8 or 12. Yeah. yeah there are some traps, but they're just not really. All that difficult. Case in point. Nice design, you send me out the red door that way, and now I just go into the red door over here.
Yeah, so far it's just pretty bland. That was a nice feature to have a bunch of these drop down with monsters. And yeah, the whole idea is kind of cool with these pillars everywhere. Uh, but it just, you know, the monsters weren't really enough of a challenge in this situation. And here we forgot to uh, put in the texture. Alright, so I've got blue now. Over here. So now we've got damage and stuff. Reckless behavior here. Trying to resist using the map here. I'm ah, okay. So I kind of rushed through that. I just wasn't really feeling the vibe too much. Um, still came away with 80% at least. Yeah, it's it's a decent uh, conceptual design. You know, you've got a, basically a what appears to be a hub with three keys. That it turns out is not really that. The, each each section, um, the main area kind of has two doors of each color, and you go in one door and you come out a door of the key that you just got and then there's the next one that you go into so that was pretty fairly well set up um, but really bland just basically one texture the entire map which is not ideal obviously uh, tidy right angles entire thing and I, I get it you know it's, it's sewer this is kinda what you get um, which is all the more reason if you're going to do a sewer map to find ways to, to pull it off nicely. I mentioned the, the Bonnie Sewers map, which was also, you know, fairly bland looking. Um, it's just as hard to do. Um, but uh, you gotta make up for it with gameplay and combat, which this map really didn't do in particular. Um, I never felt like I was in too much danger, so I kind of was rushing through the map, even with low health. and. Uh, I've never really had a problem. Um, yeah, I don't know, just something about it just made me not want to kill the monsters and just move forward and get out. Um, yeah, so, similar problem to the last map, just a lot of the same texturing. Uh, that open area, yeah, I could have used a bit of a tune-up with the monsters. Um, give me a little bit more ammo and give me more monsters, you know, because those cacodemons in there floating around are begging me not to kill them because there's not enough of them to really be a threat. I can just basically avoid them. Um, and plus, that area was just a little too wide, I think. Uh, make it a little bit more narrow. Consider making all of the floors damaging and now you've got a, you've got a more tense situation in the entire map. Um, but yeah, that, that was a Decrepit Sewers by Skunk Bear Map 2 of Demonic Citadel.